welcome. And I'm just feeling a little chatty today. I've been kind of hard and down on myself and been thinking about a lot of stuff. And it's numbers, numbers, numbers. I know it sounds really weird, but I am diabetic, so my blood sugar numbers and then those have not been very great. And I'm trying to lose weight so that scaled numbers are, are not very great. <laughs> and it just seems like, you know, it gets me down and I worry about it and I start to lose sleep and that's, pr that's pretty bad. So anyway, I wanted to get on here to share with you that um, a few years ago I started a blog and um, I just haven't kept up with it for the last couple of years or so. I I'm not sure why. Uh, I enjoyed it. It helped me out a whole lot um, with uh, my feelings, my emotions, just getting things out. Um, it, was, it was a great benefit. So I may, I may, I may go back to it. <laughs> so today I wanted to share with you because um, it seems like life is focused around numbers. And now since I have started a YouTube channel, there's more numbers I seem to be worried about. Ugh, it's frustrating. And, you know, I'm not sure why I'm so hard on myself, but um, I'm my worst enemy. And it's just because I've lost focus and I need to regroup and I need to get back and I need to vent and I need to, um, I probably should do the blog some more because it was very helpful. So today I wanted to share with you something that I wrote about 40 years ago, and it happens to do with numbers. Um, and it's, it's, it's uh, perfect for what I'm going through right now. So imagine that. It was helpful, even a few years down the road. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to read it, so forgive me, but, but I am going to be reading it. <clears throat> and I may just add a little commentary here and there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, or add stuff that apply for today. But I think it boils down to, <clears throat> I set such high expectations for myself. And when that doesn't happen, I just, you know, I feel like a failure. I feel like I, th I'm no good. I, I, I can't do this. It's too hard. So I don't want to do it anymore. And um, <clears throat> it's just because I, you know, like I said, I've lost focus. So this will help me get back on focus and on track and if it can help somebody else then that's great uh, fantastic uh, you know I'm all for helping people and being encouraging I always want to be encouraging and I want to be motivating and um, but I am not perfect so in case you haven't figured that out <clears throat> all right so let me just go ahead and read this and uh, we'll get into it numbers are everywhere they are important and useful. They are. And they're everywhere. Did I mention that? They're everywhere. Every day we look at numbers. Lots. Addresses, phone numbers, clocks, and even in our cars. You know, speedometer has numbers. There's, you know, the gas, the mileage. There's numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Every why am I ranting over and over about numbers, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Lately, it seems that my life is all about numbers. The number on the scale, my blood sugar numbers, counting carbs, counting calories, and portion sizes. Numbers. I see them in my sleep. I have dreams about numbers, some good and some not so good. There's even a whole chapter in the Bible dedicated to numbers and endless scriptures that reference numbers in every shape and form. Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Luke 12, 17. Take a census of the whole Israelite community by their clans and families listing every man by name, one by one. Numbers, one, two. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Ecclesiastes 3, 11. See, numbers, important and useful, but they can be the enemy and an obsession. Worrisome, like the numbers on a scale. Why is that number not budging? Like money? That cannot be the right amount in the checking account 
Did I really spend that much money yesterday? Worrisome. Frightening. Feels like it defines who you are or who you're supposed to be. It controls every aspect of your life. Numbers. So what does God have to say about all this? God says, you are enough. Say it with me. You are enough. One more time, loudly for those in the back. I am enough. Can I get an amen? You are enough, my dear friends. You are enough, period. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2.10 Neither height nor depth, no anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8.39 Some days I feel like all I am is a number, and sometimes that number is never good enough. And Satan is the father of lies, and he will do anything to keep me in bondage. So all I need to do is tell him is this. I am enough. The scale does not define who I am. The blood sugar's numbers do not define who I am. And most definitely, my past does not define who I am. For you are formed in my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalm 139, 13 through 14. His works are wonderful. I'm his works. That makes me wonderful. I am enough. Do not worry, God says, but if you do, I am right there with you because I love you and you are enough to me. When my anxious inner thoughts become overwhelming, your comfort encourages me. Psalm 94, 19. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40, 31 through th Isaiah 30 through 31. Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 7. So you see, you are loved. You are wonderful. And you are enough. Thank you for watching this. And please comment down below if you have any questions for me or any, anything else you would like to say because this is my day to be chatty. And I hope that you will remember that you are enough. All right. Until next time.